All right, all right, all right. I have things to explain. You see, like last episode, my outro that that was not me. You might have, you might think it was what was me, but it wasn't. So I was ill, and my voice sounded kind of rough. And to finish this uh, the episode, I only needed an outro. And Jack was like, oh sure, I'll make you an outro. If you use it, you can have it. And I was like, sure, what can go wrong? But yeah, you see, a lot can go wrong. Because now I get this crappy outro on my ninth episode. So I'm sorry you had to witness this. It, it kind of crushed my pride. But hey... It is what it is. So welcome back to a new episode here on the Crystal Sky SMP. As you can see, I'm, I'm almost in full netherite. Well, actually, it's only my, my armor that is netherite. And that is because I got three netherite ingots from Spoon on the server. So thank you, Spoon, for the ingots. I appreciate it. Um... While he gave me these these ingots, there was something going on, and sadly enough, I didn't record it because I didn't know it was going to happen. But apparently, we have a black market, very hidden, and I'm selling something there, and I haven't seen at the at the orders yet. But you can put stuff in here. And people can bid on it. And when the date you set is over, you can choose which bit is more appealing to you. And uh, yeah, the, that person can, can claim the bit. And I'm selling the one special bamboo. It was, it was pretty much just junk that was in my inventory. And I just renamed it and sold it. So I haven't looked at the bits yet. And... The date has been overdue, so I have to, like, pick someone who wins. So, let's see what we get for one piece of bamboo. So, we have a special bamboo. Uh, by now it's the 30th, so I have to choose. So, potato, bit 2 oak logs, 16 soul set, 3 spruce logs. A like and a shame on you, potato. You should already be subscribed. And two netherites. I guess that, that are ingots, so... I, I like that. I like that. Then Spoon has two oak logs, two spruce logs, one netherite and 64 magma blocks. Okay, I need that for my gold farm. Dragon bits, 16 soul sand and a copy of the holy... I already have a Bible dragon. Like, I have two even. <laughs> so, I think I'm gonna take Potato's bit. That's the most appealing to me. So, I'm gonna let Potato know that he can come and pick up his bamboo if he leaves all this stuff. So, yeah, that's the thing, apparently. How do I get out here? So Jack pretty much vandalized my entire wall, making false quotes everywhere, and he even made me an intro and an outro for this episode, but I just didn't didn't want it. Like he scarred me enough. And and this is this is part of it, what he did, I guess. Um this needs to be cleaned up. Oh by the way, my shop still stands, but like so he saved it in the nick of time. Um, a bit of my carpet is missing and my bird was like blown out of its cage. So when I logged in, it was sitting next to me wherever I was. So I put him back at least. And let's let's remove these signs because that's, that's just a no-go check. Like, no. <laughs> I have to add probably that this episode is like the the other part of the footage I had from previous episode because I had so much footage already that I just split it up into episodes 
just on the side. <laughs> so you know. Hi. You, Hi. you made your shop. I did, I did. It's Looks got good. some goodies in it. If you need most things nether, here it is. Nice, nice. They're piggy related too. And this is something wonderful I got for you. Oops. Take a look. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. How much do you I, want I, for it? I, hmm. Hmm. I'd like a diamond per book if possible. So that's 27? Yes. And here you go. Alrighty. Do you just want to take the shulker? Yeah, sure. Alright. It'll save you time. I can have the shulker? Yeah, go for it. I've okay. got plenty of shells. Thanks. I won't cry over it. <laughs> Alright. Good doing business with you. Yeah, thank you too. Yeah. I don't know why I'm, I'm shifting. By the way, by the way. Yes. I see you, you sell uh, glowstone. Yes. I'm yes, selling glowstone. Little... Yeah, I'm oh. selling glowstone too in the second floor. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Honestly, I just have it here because I got so much of it when I was mining in the nether. Okay, and okay. And I thought, hmm. And now that I think about it, yeah, you can get them from villagers. This is a terrible deal. Yes. I'm selling them yeah. one diamond a stack. So. Well, on the other hand, you got the shroom lights, and yes. these are, are, are a bit better of a deal with the 16 yes, for yes. one diamond. So, it's a little and then, hard to get. And if you ever need wood, one diamond for one stack of <laughs> crimson I have so many of this. Oh no. <laughs> hopefully, I, I plan to hopefully in the future have gold in here as well. But Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Do you know someone who can break bedrock? Bedrock. Hmm. I I got no one to do it for me. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for the deal. Thank you for the deal. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> stock them directly in the in the bookstore. How much are you selling them for? Uh, quite expensive to be honest. <laughs> oh, that, hey, I I can I can get my own, so I I don't care how expensive you're selling them. I'm for. selling them for three diamonds each. Hey, I mean, I, I'd say I'm gonna go make, for it. I'm gonna make uh, some profits, A you know. Profit. <laughs> I get ya. That's fair. That's and fair. I can still lower the price. And like eventually, when I make my gold farm more efficient, I might lower my price for you too. So. Ooh, nice. That would be very, very good. <laughs> Although I think you'll be stocked for a little while. <laughs> Yeah, for now, for now, I'm I'm good. <laughs> Alrighty, all right. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, thank you. No Bye. 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 This is fun to watch. So this got a little bit out of hand, and I doubled the size of this farm. Yep. So. This is the first one. I just copied it to this side and connected them up to this uh, bubble fader, this water stream. It's uh, the wool will go in these dispensers as soon as it sees there is wool in there. It spits it out ultimately in the stream all the way to the storage system that I built over there. So yeah, also went ahead and colored every sheep. So we now have all the colors of wool and i think we have two sheep for each each color so that's that's pretty cool so we gathered a lot of white wool like we have this double chest and a smidge here and seven shulkers full of wool so we had enough white wool for the base so i just went ahead and added all the colors and the system is fully working. All the colors will be sorted here. And we already have some stacks, so pretty nice. Then I also finished this one. I made it so that the iron goes here. And look at all that iron. That's a lot of iron. Some blocks here too, so it's a lot of iron. And then all the poppies will automatically be converted into bone meal because we have a little 
composter at the back here. So the iron comes from this side, goes in this hopper line into the composter. When it becomes a bone meal, it goes in this dispenser, gets spit out. Why is the dirt here? Holy Eldrick. It gets spit out into the water line, into these hoppers, into this sorting system. Very simple. It does what it needs to do, <laughs> I guess. But there we go. We have, so we have this wool wall, the iron, the bone meal. Then over here, I'm still building a few modules, but I'm I'm low on hoppers at the moment. So and chests. So. This will be uh, bamboo and sugarcane and then over here we are gonna add sorting system for the mob farm that Eldrick's gonna build somewhere. So yeah, pretty cool. I was going to build my base but this got a little bit out of hand. <laughs> anyway, we have a little appointment at the mall because Potato wants to buy a plot so let's go there. Hello, welcome. Nice, uh, nice suit you got on. <laughs> you changed yours too. <laughs> no, this was a long time ago. It has a different color, isn't it? Wasn't yours uh, red? Yeah, the no normal it does. This, this is just, it's still kind of an old skin. It's just I put it on again. It's like on the SMP. Oh, okay, okay. Well, welcome. Um, You were interested mm. in a plot or something? Well, yeah. That one? Uh, th yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I was, yeah. Because I, uh, personally, I've been wanting to move the end shop. Mostly also because I, a lot, there's some stuff in there that doesn't need selling, that doesn't really sell. So I just want to, like, make the amount I'm selling smaller from that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and yeah. I, you think uh, this small one is going to be big enough? Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I, I already have an idea in mind, so I don't think Google. Okay, okay. Well, this one is, is eight diamonds, so... Mm. If you just... pass me the diamonds, then this, this plot is yours. Six, seven, eight. Here you go. Thank you very much. And then this right. thing is officially yours. Alright, nice. So I think the best place to put a gold farm is gonna be above the bedrock roof of the nether. And I was gonna break a uh, bedrock myself, but I was like, maybe someone has a service for this and I can pay them to do it for me. So I don't have to blow up myself. So in preparation for that, because uh, Peanut wanted to do that, I already made a long staircase all the way to bedrock and over here i also found a suitable spot where i placed this sign to break bedrock that's layer 127 that should be only one block tick to get on top of the, the roof so i will write down the coordinates in in a book and the payment was gonna be one diamond block so i'm gonna uh, get a block, get a book to write down the coordinates, and go to her base. So I made this little book. It's gonna be to Peanut, because she's gonna do it. I wrote down the coordinates of the, the block, and then a little instruction that she has to go past Eldrick's nether portal, up the stairs to the correct spot. The payment will be one diamond block, and I ask her to return the book so i know when it's done so let's move this block and this book now over to peanut space so here we are this is peanut space let's put it right here at the part also she Ooh. twinkle sounds so she can find it right here and then oh i forgot got an item frame she has an end chest somewhere yes so item frame acquired so let's put it right there and i'll hope she find it so yeah now we wait till till the deed is done so um 
I wanted to show you that I finished, I finally finished my starter base that I never use. I spruced up the leaves a bit so it's a bit more pretty and not standard Minecraft tree, but um, yeah, I logged on the other day, well today, and I was in my cave and I was suffocating and like it was filled, it is filled full of netherrack. So is my tree and so is my trading hall. Like I already dug some away, but I even filled up this little hole. And this is all filled. I don't know how far it goes down there, deep, but I don't have to be there anymore, so I'll leave it. But like all this was filled with netherrack and the bag still is. So my zombie is somewhere there and my brewing stand and all the apples to cure the villagers. And yeah, um, not only this was filled, but also my trading hall and not only the outside, but also the inside. And I just dug some tunnels through it so I could reach my villagers, but like, ah, <sighs> I'm not leaving it by this really. No. I'm happy they didn't fill this. Well, they did some here. These guys were all locked in. I had to make sure that everything is still properly lit up so nothing spawns in here. But like, these guys were locked in, and here is Netherrack, and this is full of Netherrack. And of course, the floors above too. Like, I freed these guys, but there's like more here. And I haven't been to the top floor yet, but I'm sure that one is full too. So, yeah. Well, I probably have to explain why this happened. Well, you see, a few people here on the server started a uh, little community project. And they're gonna... Hi there. Do you mind? So they're they're they mined out the nether. They're gonna make one big nether hub. And I want to help, but at the moment I I have work to do. Like I work in real life and I'm doing daily over hours. So I prefer to spend the free time that I have actually making a video and trying to get it out to you guys instead of spending hours here just digging out netherrack because I don't think you guys want to watch me dig netherrack for what 25 minutes or so or 30 minutes so yeah I haven't helped much yet if not at all and they they pranked me for that so i am planning on helping out like there's still a lot to dig and a lot to remove and i wonder how they will get to those blocks because i'm not doing those but i'm i'm just waiting till i have a bit more time because in the winter i don't work and i have all the time in the world to spend on the server which i will and videos will hopefully be faster than two so when i have time and when we have the mob farm that eldrick's gonna build i said he had to prioritize that we're gonna blow this netherrack out of here they've been mining it with their pickaxes like all like this from bedrock all the way down here already but why i mean me and Eldrick were gonna use TMT. So, yeah, that's a thing. The Netherrick is a thing. Uh, what's that? Wait, what? <laughs> what is this? Um...
like something crashed here. Like... Oh, this is... This is... Weird. I'm not even sure what that is. Why is that a floating crafting bench? I don't know. Why is all this stuff here? Alright, so... I just noticed that Peanut is online, so I'm gonna fly over to her base and see if she already completed the bedrock job because I didn't got my book back yet. So yeah, let's let's go. Hello. Hi. It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Hello. <laughs> um, Pardon the mess. I'm working on various things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I actually just came over to ask if you did the, the bedrock job already. Oh, yes, I did. I have that book somewhere. <laughs> it's somewhere. I might have... Um... There it is. There it is. Here you go. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. I did, I did do that already. I just keep forgetting to give you the book. All right. Um, I can't help but notice, but didn't you have a roof? Oh, yeah. Um... So, Jack came to me last episode, uh -huh. uh, and he wanted to, uh, he wanted to buy my dome, and I've, I've been working on my maze the entire time. I come back and it's gone and there's fire everywhere. Um, and also wither roses, but I don't think that was him. Okay. You know... I might know where it is. Wait, really? Uh huh. I haven't seen it. Do you have some rockets? I yeah, I've got rockets. I actually just bought a bunch of rockets yesterday. Okay. <laughs> if you would follow me. Yeah, I'll follow you. I know where it is? I just want my dome back. <laughs> I think. No. This is at least part <laughs> of it. <laughs> Why is it sideways? I don't know. I don't it's even know. It's all broken and stuff, and there's birds everywhere. Oh, no, those birds are mine. <laughs> oh, but, okay. Like that's there's, not my. That's like mine. Not, not mine. It's still a lot of. Wait, there's a. Oh, it's in. Can I? Can I take this redstone? <laughs> can I take these observers? This is a lot of I, observers. I kind of want them myself. You can share them. You can share them. <laughs> But yeah. You don't, don't you need slime blocks to make a flying machine? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It just I mean, maybe not if you're an here. alien. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't say anything. What? <laughs> I, um, didn't, I, I didn't say anything. What? What? Excuse? <laughs> there, you know more. Don't oh, you? whoa, wait. Wait, what? Huh? What did you say? You know more, don't you? Uh, maybe... I didn't know he was gonna... turn my dome into a spaceship and crash it into your tree. <laughs> so he is an alien, you're saying? Uh... He may or may not have revealed a thing or two to me and no one who I haven't seen in a while? So we were declaring no one crazy while he was right the whole time. Well, well, I knew that Jack was an alien, but I didn't think that he was like gonna try and hurt people. Are you sure he's an alien? Yeah, yeah, I am. Come, come with me. Come with me. I want to show you something. We'll go okay. back to my base. I was- he and I were having a little debate up here, right? Because I'm collecting heads. Um. Uh-huh. And I'm, like, I'm collecting player heads and mob heads. So the mob heads are on one side, player heads are on another. But I wanted- because he was like, well, just kill a villager and you'll get the same head. And I'm like, but it wouldn't say Blackjack Fire YT on it. But I noticed something is here. Come- come look at this. Look at the bottom of this villager head. Uh-huh. 
That's that's fine, right? Yeah. And, and over here, come look at the bottom of Jack's head. It's got like this big black hole in it. It does. I have his head too, right? and it indeed does. Yeah, and, and like this over here, like you can take you can take them both off the wall. This one's a normal villager head. It says unemployed villager's head. And then this one over uh -huh. here says Blackjack Fire YT's head. I see. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, I, right? I've seen them done like villager things. I've seen them. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I've seen them trading and, and like breeding even. Don't question it. <laughs> now now am I am I attractive enough for you? Come on, yeah, let's let's get the love hearts on. Come on. Let's do it. Oh! Yes, it's working! <laughs> <laughs> it's working! Yeah! Oh god, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, this there is we great! Go. Yes! Oh my him? son! Uh, his name is uh, John. Jack and John. Jack and John. No, 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 don't do it! <laughs> my, my my firstborn. And, That's weird. <laughs> yes. And I wasn't sure. Like I already thought, like for a villager, he's kind of smart, kind of, and his head is yeah. like smaller. I haven't been doing a lot with villagers. I made a villager breeder in my industrial area, but I haven't really done any like trading or anything. So, I mean, I don't know too much about I was, that. I was trading with him, and I've got like Asian to breed from him. What villager trades Asian to breed, you know? So I don't. Yeah, I don't know if that's a villager trade, but then again, I don't have that much expertise on that right now. It isn't. It's too like. I can go back. I down. was already oh. thinking that something isn't right with him. Yeah, it is a little. I mean, in my mind, villagers have kind of always been like, like farm animals in a way. Is as terrible as that kind of sounds. Yeah, uh, I know. I I have a trading and, hall, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jack is definitely smarter than like a a sheep or a cow. <laughs> Okay. It's funny we're comparing him to like, a wandering animals. trader. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what's his goal though? Like, why is he hiding? I don't know. No one was saying something about him wanting to eat everyone. <laughs> Your face. And like now, no one isn't here. Or I have, or at least I haven't seen him in a while. Hmm. This is fishy. It is a little fit because I I was I was certain that he like wasn't trying to hurt people because I mean like he's he's been my neighbor for so long yeah as far as I know he didn't really hurt anyone yet so yeah I mean except for my poor build yeah and yours <laughs> yeah I mean my my tree was already vandalized for. I mean, he stole your roof. He did steal my roof. Uh, I wonder, next time I see him online, I'm gonna ask if he can at least put it back. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we Except can... that it's all, like, broken and stuff. Maybe we can, like, go and... He's not online right now, so maybe we can go to his base and check if he can find anything there. Maybe. I don't know. That's kind of scary. What if he's got, like, traps and stuff? Mm, true. We don't want to end up getting trapped in there. He's giving a party tomorrow, right? Yeah, I think he, he's he been going around talking about a Halloween party. Mm. At least on the Discord he's been talking about a Halloween party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe... Maybe I'll, I'll try some things. I can try to rename Maybe. it. You can rename villagers, so... Yeah, yeah, because you can rename villagers, and you can also, like... 
give them potatoes and stuff. Uh, we're not gonna go there. <laughs> I've seen that. Not gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> not going there. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Hmm. I mean, but aren't villagers, like, when they have potatoes and stuff, they're supposed to, like, toss them to other villagers, right? Yeah, I've seen them do that. That's kind of part of their AI. (laughs) I've I've seen him do that, so... Let's build something, at least. We've done it. We finally started our base. And now I have a bigger platform. (laughs) So yeah, I've been postponing this base for quite a while now. And I know previous episodes I've said like, oh, today is the day we're going to build our base. But then I didn't. So well, we started. And I think the reason why I've been putting it off is because... Uh, I've I've designed my base in a in a creative world, in a single player creative world, and something about it was off. And the thing that was off was the first thing I needed to build. So it's actually the thing that goes on top of this platform, the actual building. I think it misses some details on on the outside, and there's not much room to fit in details but I'm just gonna try to figure it out as I go so I've made a start and hopefully it will go fair better now it's it will be easier for me to actually start working on this so yeah but of course this is the end of the episode it was this episode was kind of everything but next episode is gonna be kind of exciting because we will be going to Jack's uh, Halloween party and see why he's hiding his true identity, I hope. I hope we can find it out, because something is off, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye! (laughs) 